Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I have for you a video on how I build unit studies for science for my first grader. So currently we are doing our human body units. Um, he is obsessed with the human body. Let me say that again, obsessed. Like he, that is all he wants to study for science. Like I asked him what he wants to do next year, and again, the human body. So... I built a unit study this year, um, and so I basically have, like, the spine of our unit study, then I have the experiments, and I have different little toys and living books and all that kind of stuff to show you guys today. So I hope this helps you guys build a unit study of your own. Um, I'm by no means an expert on unit studies, but um, I just thought I would share this with you guys in the hopes that it does help somebody build one. So... The first thing I want to show you guys is basically the spine of our unit study. This is, um, you know, the books that we read out of to get the true facts and that kind of thing. So the first book is the Discovery Kids Factivity, The Amazing Human Body. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit into this. I know I've showed the Factivity books in some other um, videos, but yeah, so this is basically, it has facts in it and everything, but it's also like kind of like a workbook. It has some pages that they'll write on and draw on and that kind of thing. And then inside it, it also has um, little experiments and things. We haven't really used any of the experience experiments out of here yet, but yeah, so body map. There's just a lot of really cool things in this book. So we use that for part of our spine. And then the next book I absolutely love. And I know I've shown um, maybe not the human body one, but a different one of these books from this series and other videos. So I really love this series. Um, it is DK, Utterly Amazing Human Body. And it has a ton of pop-ups and flaps and different things like that that really, really keep my son engaged. So I'm just going to show you guys a little bit into this one. But basically the way I do it um, to build a unit study is I, I look at the table of contents and I see the different things that are talked about. So with our unit study for the human body, I'm basically just taking a week and focusing on a different system of the body each week. So our unit studies typically take about mm, like nine weeks, give or take. It just depends on what we're studying. So here's the table of contents for this book. And all these books that I'm showing you guys, literally every single one, I got off of either Amazon and the used books or I got off of eBay and the used books. So honestly, like some of these books were as low as like two and three dollars. Some of them were probably six to ten, but that's pretty much the highest that I spent on any books that I use for unit studies. I typically don't buy books brand new unless... It's something that I really, really think we need or want, and I can't find it used. So, all right, that is all for that book. Very cool book. Highly recommend it. And then the next book that I'm using for our spine is this Us Born C Inside Your Body, and it also has flaps. So, very engaging for my son. Now, honestly, um, I did go a little bit overboard with buying books for my unit studies. Um, you don't have to have this many books to do a unit study. Honestly, you could do one book for your spine and you'd probably be fine. I've found that we don't use everything that I had planned to use at the beginning of the school year when I bought all of this stuff, but it is what it is. Um, I'm kind of a bookworm and I just love buying new books. Okay, so that is all for that book. Now I'm going to show you some of the other books that I bought that I wasn't sure if they would be good spines or not, so I went ahead and bought them anyway. This is Science Squad by Robert Winston. Um, he actually writes the Utterly Amazing series, so really love him. Now this book obviously was not something that would cover all of the human body. Um, it just has little like sections in it. So this is one that I might pull out if I see something in it that would be beneficial, but it's definitely not a good book for the spine for a human body unit. 
it definitely covers a, a wide variety of topics in that one. The next thing I picked up was this Us Born Human Body sticker book. Um, we have really loved using this. Us Born makes very, very quality sticker books. So we pretty much, what we do is, like I said, I focus on one system of the body a week. So when we're focusing on that system, we find the page that we need, we read the facts, and we put the stickers on. The stickers are very realistic. Um, they're not like cartoon type stickers. They actually go really well with the human body study. There's one of like an x-ray, so that's really cool. We haven't gotten to that yet. All right, so those are the books I wanted to show you as far as the spine of the curriculum goes. Now, the next thing I want to show you is these tube toys. They are awesome. I'm trying to open them. They come in this little tube, obviously, but this is all human body organs. I'm not going to be able to get them all out because I'm one-handed, but they're very realistic looking, pretty awesome. And each tube comes with, I want to say like eight to 10 things inside of it. So definitely recommend. I think I got these from Rainbow Resource, I want to say, but you can get them on Amazon as well. And what I'm going to try to do is link all of this below um, for you guys so that you have an idea of where to get everything. So I'm going to now show you the living books that we are using throughout this human body unit study. And there are quite a few of them. Like I said, I tend to go a little bit overboard when it comes to books. So let me just move those out of the way. Okay, so the first one is brush your teeth, please. This is something that I've always struggled with with my son is getting him to brush his teeth. He's getting way better about it this school year but last year it was just like such a fight. So I thought this was a great book to get. Um, and it did tie in really well with the hygiene part of our unit. So brush your teeth, please. The next one is the magic school bus has a heart. We obviously love magic school bus books, but we also really love these read and find out science books. They are great books for unit studies for science. So we have your skin and mine. We have this book about your skeleton, another read and find out science book, Hear Your Heart, Magic School Bus Explores the Senses, Why I Sneeze, Shiver, Hiccup, and Yawn, Germs Make Me Sick, What Happens to a Hamburger, this is obviously about the digestive system, which I thought was a really cute book. And then the last one is, oh, things you can do that are good for you. Um, during the hygiene portion of this unit study, I also want to do, um, like, talk a little bit about nutrition and exercise and that type of thing as well. So I thought this would be a good book to have for that. Now, um, another thing that I tie into our unit studies is we really love the Magic School Bus. So I'll go through... Um, on Netflix, and I will pull episodes that have to do with the certain um, systems of the body that we're studying, and he will watch those episodes as well through the week. And then the, the last thing that I incorporate into our unit study is obviously experiments. Um, this year, I went ahead and went with this Magic School Bus Human Body Lab. Um, I did get this off of Amazon, and don't mind, my dog chewed a hole in it. Uh, so yeah, this human body lab has seen better days. But inside of it, and I don't, you guys won't be able to see everything, because like I said, we have been doing some of the experiments. Um, one of the things, the one of the first things that we did was the um, skeletal system. So we built a, a skeleton. This is like the leg of the skeleton. So... It was pretty big. I don't have it to show because it's pretty much become my son's toy at this point. But um, these these kits are great. I don't know that they're, they're, they're definitely not necessary. Like, I wanted to make these unit studies as easy as I could on myself, so I kind of wanted to have the experiments and everything we needed for them in a box like this. But I've since realized that you can very, very easily just make a plan for what you need, 
go on Pinterest, do things like that to get experiments. So this is definitely an unnecessary part of the unit study, but I wanted to have it on hand. So it's worked for us. Um, you'll get, now depending on the experiment kit you get, this is the human body one. Every single one is different um, and they do have a variety, but you will get, in every single one, you will get these cards that show you exactly what you're supposed to do for the experiment, the um, materials you need, and everything like that. So these cards are great. There's like 25 of them in here, I think. And then you'll get the materials you need. So there's, like I said, not many in here because we've been using it, but the different things. There's like this little wood dowel thing. Some glitter. Um, a balloon. So there's a lot of different things that you'll need for the experiments in here. The only thing that they don't include in these is the um, perishable items, you know, the food items and things like that that you might need. Or if you need like a cup or something, it's not going to be in here. So that is that. And that is basically how I build a unit study for my first grader for science. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys in the hopes that it would maybe help somebody build a unit study of their own. And yeah, so that's pretty much all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. See you guys later.